Are you a photographer for your primary career or just for fun as side work? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I took some beautiful photos uh, in 2014, I believe, uh, which are copywritten with the United States. And um, I have just uh, wanted to see, well, where else can these be? Because they're so beautiful and they're even on my wall in nice frames. So what you can do is there's something called reverse image lookup. If you want to find out if somebody has stolen your artwork, you can do this. And let me tell you, as a web developer, as somebody who creates and makes logos and uh, art and publishes websites, we have to ensure that that doesn't belong to anybody else, that we have paid for the right to use it. All right. So you got to do things the right way. But let me show you, if you're interested in finding out for yourself, if somebody has taken your artwork, you can go ahead and do this. The simplest thing to do is open your browser, and I'm going to use Google Chrome. All right. And what you'll notice is it says search Google or type a URL. I'm going to go over here, and you'll see search by image. Well, now watch this. I'm going to click this. I'm going to hit, hit either upload, or I'm going to drag an image over here. I'm going to drag my photo that I took over here and watch what you see. It analyzes your photo. This is the image source and it finds it everywhere else. It may be shown and you can see here. It's the Sunset Long Beach Boardwalk. You know, this one's not mine, but you can look at them and you can tell. So, you know, I know right off the bat, bam, all these are mine, okay? And what you'll see is this company here, what they did is, let's take a look. Well, we'd have to go through all of these, but I know this house in particular. Guess what? Let's take a look. Let's go to view all, scroll on down, and what do we see? Wow, damn. So this photo, let's just look and compare. I mean, really. I'm going to tell you right now, it's the same photo, except you see over here, this, which is an ornament of lights on there. And you also see it over here, correct? But on their copy, you don't see it there. That's because they photoshopped it out or did whatever they do. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And I can zoom in and tell that there has been some photoshopping right here because you see brackets. You see these brackets here? There's brackets right there. And there are supposed to be ornaments with lights attached to that. The other thing we see is on mine, you will notice, well, there's a garbage can here, okay? And it was located at the one, two, three, at the third thing one two three the third bench and it's not there now that's not difficult to photoshop at all but you know you see the brackets here you see the brackets here this is where they're hanging from and listen the internet's smart google smart we could also line up the wood i mean you want to get really technical we can look and prove just look at this, okay? Look at the, nobody was here with me at this time. I'm the only one that took this picture, okay? That day, that minute, and you'll see that this all lines up, all the wood grains, okay? All the wood grains. Th their image is a much lower quality um, because they did edit it and they didn't, you know, save it as high quality image, but this is a copy, a direct copy. It's pretty bad. Um, not to mention they put their name on it. But, um, you know, you can line up everything from the clouds. I mean, where does it end? I mean, the person here. I can just randomly look at a person right here. One, you have people here, here. And we can zoom into here and the same people are there. Guess what? That same garbage can over here is there too. You see? So, this is what they do.
All right, these real estate companies, a lot of them are, you know, this is what they do. Uh, they need to learn to pay for the work uh, that they take. So let's go here and you see apartments.com. Then you see this one, I already contacted them. This is just blatantly stolen. I mean, this is just interestingly, I mean, come on. That's just, that's like, that's just blatant, right? Yeah, that's blatant. So, um, yeah. So, uh, you know, we got Compass here, Gold Coast, Homes, Trulia, Zillow. You know, we got some people on LinkedIn here. Um, join. So, this is a good way to find out if anyone has taken your photos. All right. And again, like this one is taken. I, I could tell right off the bat. You know, there's a lot of, and listen, don't tell me somebody could have been there right next to me. No, because they would have been holding my hand. And I can tell, you know, I wasn't, I was born at night, but not last night. So just take a look. All right. So if you want to check out, if somebody has taken your photos, you want to look back, use Google Lens. All right. It'll find any of those photos that you upload and who's using them, where they're using them. And then if you want, you can take it further, but this is just fun and games for me, and I'm just showing you how to analyze if something's been edited, taken or not. Have a great day. Thank you for checking this out.